Hey everyone, David C. Anderson from the Knife Center, coming at you from the CRKT booth at Blade Show 2023. We have a very, very special guest today, none other than Mr. Michael Walker himself. How are you, sir? I'm doing great, thank you. It's been a pleasure to meet you today. Thank you, you as well. And, and thank you for, uh, for s sitting down for an interview with um, us here. I'm, I'm not sitting, but I'm glad to, <laughs> glad to be here for the interview. Thank me you too. for having me. Me too, thank you. Well, uh, if you guys were watching earlier this week, you got to see three new collaboration models between Mr. Walker and CRKT. They're here behind us. I kind of laid out the story uh, about the knives, about a little bit of my, Mr. Mark, a little bit of Mr. Walker's history, and according to him, I got most of it right, which I'm very yeah, I'm happy as about. Yeah, as far as I remember, I was, yeah, yeah, yeah re real close, re re really close. So well, thank you. But nothing to, nothing to say there. But we got the man here himself, so I would love if you wouldn't kind of. Tell us what's special about these designs. Like, it's so cool to see you back with CRKT doing something new, and you've got insight and details on this that I, of course, have no idea how to approach, and I would love to hear from you. Why these? What, what makes these well, great? Well, uh, you know, let's, uh, let, let, let's start with the monument, I guess. So, um, this, this is one of the few uh, knives, most of my pieces are one-off. Mm -hmm. I make one, I move on to the next one. There's, I don't start with a pattern, or uh, um, I let the knife work itself out as I go. Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't always know the end, but but this I was I was after something that uh, that I was going to make more than more than one. So I, I always love the dragon scale um, pieces and um, the pocketed spring. Um, uh, when I got tools, I moved from the split liner to a pocketed spring once I got the tools to be able to do that back in the mid 80s. So this incorporated those, those ideas for me in, a, in a, uh, what I consider a, to, to be just a really good size. Mm -hmm, you know? mm -hmm. So uh, I, made about, I made five or six of these. One of them was a flipper, I think. One was a button lock, uh, different, different blade stuff, but... Um, um, so that that was in my in my portfolio book, um, and um, I I went to I went to somehow I remember how I ended up co contacting Columbia River, but uh, uh, we worked together 25 years ago, and and I had two new locking systems. I thought, well, you know, if anybody can do that, maybe you know these guys might be interested. So we got together. And they had some other locks they were working on, but I'd taken my uh, big portfolio with, you know, for my 40 years of work, mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. some of the better pieces. And, and as they looked through, they picked out uh, a few different pieces. And this, and this, this was, this one, was of one of them. Yeah. And, um, you know, uh, it, I was uh, completely blown away by the quality that could be done in, in manufacturing today. Yeah. And, well, they, and they, they worked from saying, a prototype. Right, yeah, sorry. Not, I, didn't I mean, mean they worked from there. a photo, not yeah. a prototype. Right, you know, Which right. Is, is incredible to me, you know, with technology. And how close to your, your I know those, those originals were probably like more pushing the art knife thing more forward than these, but how, how close did they get to, to how those felt it, they, compared they, to this? They've got, it's got the whole feel, and it's got the sides, it's got the little, the sculpting I do on the handle, the dragon scales. The, the large pivot it was sort of my part of my trademark um, the, the clip with the roller the clip with the roller on it mm -hmm. um, and, and uh, yeah they, they they hit it all just uh, you know working working from, from a photo from a photo you know fantastic and, um, you know so I yeah I was, I was very very pleased with the quality of the uh, uh, of the work excellent and uh, these are these guys are going to be limited. I know Knife Center has a few more coming. So if you're uh, if you're taken by this story, if it's if it's grabbing you, don't wait too long on all of these. I would just caution you that because they are pretty special. They are pretty special. Yeah, they did a short run of these 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 uh, the, the the monuments in two uh, the gray one with the uh, the damasteel blade mm -hmm. and the blue blue dragon scales with the plain blade. Mm -hmm. You know. So that's the two versions of, of, uh, of the monument. Yeah, the feel on them is quite excellent. Yeah, yeah. And then the Pursue, I'm guessing when they're leafing through the portfolio, this was another one that kind of jumped yeah, out this, to them? Yeah, this, 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 this piece is um, um, modeled after one of my, my uh, composite blade, zipper blade, with 
the blade lock patent that I have on the locking system, but we they translated that into a liner lock and done a you know just a phenomenal job with the big the big pearl pivot was sort of my trademark on those bigger uh, uh, art knife pieces on the Shark's Two zipper. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, they captured the whole the whole thing there really, really well. Yeah, and they did they really did turn out quite good. They really did. Um, any other cool little like details on these you I, might want to share? I, I guess you know this is this is where we started 25 years ago, and the difference in what uh, um, so that's a blade lock, and that would have been the the, the where that would this have sat. original knife would yeah. have been a blade lock, uh -huh. and uh, so it translated really well. Taking a this was a knife I made 20 years ago, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know that we translated in they translated in today, and uh, did a really great job. Yeah, yeah. so. So speaking of like the blade lock, for example, um, the info I was given as I was preparing for the video we made last week was something over like 20 different locking mechanisms that you've come uh, up yeah, with. Yeah, I'm, I'm way over 20. There, there, a lot of them were just one. A lot of the the, the locks were there was just one of them. Um, I get the idea, think this is oh this is a, my greatest idea ever, and I make one, and yeah, well, uh, <laughs> every design has a the plus and the constraints. You're constrained by something. Mm -hmm. and, and then you got these advantages and you weigh those out and decide. Most of mine aren't, don't translate well to, to production. Mm -hmm. um, and they're either too complex or, or, or uh, and made to be more art, art pieces. So, um, Do, Is there a certain kind of satisfaction or, or drive to, to make something like to approach the idea of a new locking mechanism like like what what's your kind of motivation for yeah. rather than just sticking to something like the liner lock which you know, like you're you're the liner lock guy right yeah. what, what is it that pushes you towards those new I'm things? looking for the next thing you know yeah. it was like yeah. uh, um, I made I made uh, I, I made the first liner lock in 1981 and uh, we were a different industry in 1981 mm -hmm. let, me, let me tell you but um, you know, I was. Uh, uh, it was all lockbacks and slip joints. That's what custom knife makers did. Just lockbacks and slip joints. Yeah. You know, and I had simple, simple jewelry tools. So I was looking for something else I could make with those simple tools. Mm -hmm. And uh, the liner lock is where I ended up. I wanted a knife that I wanted a knife that that I could open and close without having to turn it around. To unlock it. That sure. was basically yeah. my, you know, um, my my design constraint. Yeah. And my original liner locks weren't weren't easy opener. Um, they were hard work and simple tools. No ball detent. Long before I did the ball detent, several mm -hmm. years. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, so it, uh, I was always looking for that other thing. And each time I got a new piece of equipment or a new tool that. That, that basically is a craftsman that, that helps your language so you can say something. So that let me try something else. Maybe it works, maybe it doesn't. But uh, you know, but I, I've always been looking for the looking for the, the the next lock, I guess. Not not as the idea to get it manufactured or anything, just for me. It's that creative drive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's just like yeah. I gotta find that I gotta find that next one. So yeah. Most of those collector pieces, uh, especially the ones that are just one, some are two or three, or you know, that's very few more than three or four, except the blade lock and uh, that, that I patented back in 1990, I think. Except for the blade lock and one other D lock, uh, a bunch of different kind of button locks, and, you know. But that that's the the dry. That's what you know. Finding that new thing yeah. sort of keeps it. You know, I've been 43 years at this, and that's sort of the sort of the, the carrot. Yeah. yeah. I don't know where the stick is, but, <laughs> but, but that was the carrot sort of keeping me, uh, okay, can we find that, can we find that next one? Yeah. You know, I wouldn't be unhappy if I found the next liner lock. Before, sure. Right? I wouldn't I, either, yeah. right? <laughs> so. Well, I mean, you, you talk about like the difference in the industry from when, when you first came out with the liner lock and you compare that to the room we're standing in now. Oh, oh um, yeah. How does it feel to to look around and see the effect that you've had on on all the stuff going yeah, on in this room? Do you even think it's about humbling. that? It's Yeah, sure. It's humbling. You know, it's like uh, you know, I was just the guy at the right place at the right time with the, the right gizmo. You know, yeah. it's just uh, 
uh, the way it worked out. But you know, yeah, it's uh, it's it's amazing to think back. Where uh, you know, if uh, if you look on my Instagram page, you'll see a little old eight by sixteen log cabin that I built in the mountains. That's where I made the first liner lock. Yeah. Right? It was yeah. like, yeah, I want to make knives so bad that I, you know, that's what I did. I had to find, you know, uh, uh, and then you know, the first knives were terrible. They were junk. You know, <laughs> you, you learn. You learn as you go, yeah. and, you, and, you, yeah. and you, you grow. You grow. Um, that, that's a try to find that next uh, thing. But they're they're doing such incredible work in all all different areas of, yeah. of production knives, handmade knives, uh, yeah. everything now. So uh, it's a great community. You know, there's, it is. There's so many. Uh, all of my friends are, are knife people that I met traveling around the world do, doing shows, you yeah, know, because yeah. I never had time at home. I'm, right. in, the, I'm in the shop working. You know? Right. Yeah, no, the, I've always said, like, the people in the knife industry and the connections you make there are what makes all the all the long hours of work so much fun. And really, it's even better than the sharp and shiny things. It's, it, it is it, those people. It is, it yeah. is, yeah. That's the, uh, the uh, so, yeah, it's been, a, it's been an incredible journey, you know, and I'm, uh, yeah, I'm, uh, Humbled by where everything's taken off and gone with the simple, you know, simple thing, really. Yeah, yeah. You know? Well, Michael, it was an honor getting uh, to talk to you today. My pleasure. My I pleasure. really appreciate it. Thank you. I hope you folks had a uh, a good time. Thank you so much. If you want to check out uh, these, the monument and the pursue from CRKT. Uh, at the time we're filming this, I know we still have some in stock at the Knife Center, but as I mentioned, they were limited. So check them out. And next time you take a look at a liner lock. Think of this guy right here. Yeah, thank you, brother. Thank you, Michael. Yeah, I really appreciate it. Yeah.